In this video we will introduce the MV example base model. Use the project overview window to activate the base model study case. An overview diagram of a 20 kV medium voltage network will appear. In this geographic diagram, the large circles show the primary substations, and the small circles and squares show the distribution substations. For this demonstration, the geographic map will be deactivated. Let's color the diagram to show which distribution substations are fed from which primary substations. Choose the Diagram Coloring Scheme icon. Under Option 3, choose to color the diagram according to topology and select the option supplied by substation. You should see that the diagram is now colored in four distinct colors. Each of the four colors corresponds to one of the primary substations from which the area of network is fed. Now let's take a closer look at one of the primary substations. Double click on one of the large circles. A detailed substation diagram will appear. The substation diagram is colored according to the two voltage levels present. The blue part of the network is rated at 63 kV, and the green part at 20 kV. You can jump between network diagrams using the option, Mark in other diagram. The selected feeder is highlighted automatically in the overview diagram. Now let's take a closer look at one of the distribution substations. Zoom in on a distribution substation. Double click on the distribution substation to access a detailed diagram. The distribution substation consists of an MVLV transformer with connected load, an incoming feeder and an outgoing feeder. The switch gear and the bus bar are also shown in the diagram. The switches in this substation are all closed. Return to the overview diagram. A number of feeder objects have been predefined in this network. The feeder objects group equipment according to the radial feeder to which they belong. We can color the network feeders in the diagram to get a better illustration of this. Choose the diagram coloring scheme icon again. This time choose the option, feeders instead of supplied by substation. You can see that the diagram coloring mode has changed. Suppose we are concerned that feeders that should be operating radially, are actually operating in a ring. We can activate a coloring alarm feature, which will highlight such cases. First, to make things easier to see, the feeder topology coloring will be deselected. The option alarm is selected, and feeder radiality check. In this case issues will be highlighted in a particular shade of red. There are no such issues present in this network with this current configuration. Let's switch the network to deliberately introduce a ring and see what happens to the diagram coloring. Find a distribution substation with a normal open point and close the normal open point. Returning to the overview diagram, you will see that the diagram coloring of the feeders has changed to illustrate the alarm condition. Reopen the normal open point and the alarm condition will disappear. Zoom out to show the whole network once more. We will now illustrate the heat maps feature. Heat maps are particularly useful when trying to evaluate the status of large complicated networks. It is a graphical feature, which will quickly draw the user's attention to any problems in the network. Reconfigure the diagram coloring scheme so that the topology is colored according to the primary substation from which it is supplied. Now choose the heat maps command icon. Choose a higher resolution, and choose an appropriate background color. Select execute. You can see that the regions supplied by each of the primary substations are clearly highlighted with the heat map. 
the heat map can be switched off again by selecting the heat map command icon once more. Finally, let us reactivate the geographic map using the layers icon. Select and edit the geographic map layer. Here, it can be configured to use a chosen map provider. Then click OK. Our fictitious network can be represented against the map background because geographical coordinates have been entered for each substation. To see this, edit one of the substations, and look at the description page, geographical coordinates tab.